right, today we're going to talk about areas of circles and sectors. So we're going to define what segments and sectors are of a circle, and then we're going to use the area formula and some other things that we trig to um, find the area of each of those parts. All right. So basically, you guys know this. An area is a number of square units enclosed in a figure, and for circles, you find it by pi r squared. So if I wanted to find the area of the circle and leave it in terms of pi, since I've got the diameter, I've got to divide this by 2. So it's going to give me a radius of 1 and 6 tenths inches. So my area is going to be pi times 1.6 squared. And that is 2.56. So 2 and 56 hundredths pi inches. And remember, if you're going to change it into um, out of terms of pi, then use the pi button on your calculator, please. Okay. All right, 2.5 whatever units. So here my area is going to be um, pi times 2.5 squared. And that's 6.25, so 6 and 25 hundredths pi, um, we could say units squared. Okay. So, again, if a circle has an area 15 pi and we want to find its circumference, so we know that area equals pi r squared. So, I've got an area of 15 pi equal to pi r squared. If I just divide everything by pi, I'm going to get r squared equals 15. And take the square root of both sides is going to give me approximately 3.87. Okay, And so then our circumference would be 2 pi r or 2 times 3.87 times pi or about 7.45 pi. Just kind of a quick review. Now a sector of a circle is a region bounded by an arc of a circle and two radii to the arc center. So basically, it's the inside of a central angle that's enclosed in the in the circle. Okay. And our area is going to be <clears throat> the measure. I don't know why I have the length in here. Okay. Um, the measure of AB over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so that's how we would find the area, right, if this was R. So let's look at a couple examples. So I've got the area of this sector. I've got a radius of 3 and that central angle of 45 degrees. So my area is going to be 45 over 360 times 3 squared pi. Okay. So 45 over 360... reduces to one eighth. Got an extra equal sign in there, huh? Okay. Times nine pi or nine eighths pi. And I don't need to find the decimal equivalency. I'm okay with you leaving it in terms of pi, unless stated otherwise. So here in my crushed little looking circle, this time um, I have a diameter of 12. So that means I have a radius of six. If I know that that is 120, it lies on this diameter. So that means that I've got a central angle there for the sector of 60 degrees. So my area is going to be 60 over 360 times pi r squared. So 60 over 360 reduces to 1 sixth. 
I'm going to double check because you guys know me and my math. Arithmetic. Okay, so I've got 1 6 times 36 pi, and that simplifies to 6 pi. Okay, really kind of simple. I would hope. All right, now segment is a little bit harder. It's the area of a triangle is the difference between the area of the sector and the area of the triangle formed by the radii. So basically, this is my segment, this little shaded area here. Okay, and in order to find that area, I got to find the area of the sector. And I got to subtract out the area of the triangle. And that's going to equal the area of the segment. All right. So here we go. We're going to find the area first of the sector. And then we're going to find it of the triangle. And we're going to subtract those to get the area of the segment. So this is a right triangle. My, um, each side is three. And both of my radii are legs. So actually the area of the triangle is probably the easiest. One half base times height is going to be one half times nine times nine or three times three. Jumping ahead which is going to give me nine halves. So that's my area of my triangle. Okay. The sector, since it's a right triangle, so for the sector, we're going to have 90 over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so pi times 3 squared. 90 over 360 is 1 fourth times 9 pi which will give us 9 fourths pi. So now to find the area of the shaded sector, I'm just going to subtract these two. So the sector is the bigger one, 9 fourths pi minus 9 halves. And that's we can say that that's simplified. Okay, Or we can plug it into our calculator. And when I plug it in, I'm just going to plug it in as 9 fourths times pi. I can find pi. Vision's horrible. You guys know that. And then subtract 9 halves. And I am just plugged it all into the calculator. All is 1. And it gave me approximately 2.569. If it was inches, we would say inches squared or whatever. Okay, but I would accept, unless I've asked you to simplify it, either answer. Okay. Lastly, it might come to the point where we've got to use trig to find the area of our triangle. But let's find the area of the sector first, since this is 120 degrees because of the 60, and my radius is 4. So my area of my sector, and it might help, hint, hint, if I'm doing a test or a quiz that you label this, a S to mean area of a sector, is 120 over 360 times, I don't know why it keeps doing that, pi times 4 squared. So the area of my sector, 1 third times 16 pi, or 16 pi geez, divided by 3. Now, in order to find the area of my triangle, I've got to use, I could use special right triangles or I could use trig. Because what's going to happen, I've got to draw an altitude from the vertex down here, so a right angle, and that would split our 120 degree angle into 60. Okay. So, my side right here would be 4. That's opposite the right angle. So this angle is going to be 30. So that means that my altitude is 2. And then this side is 2 root 3. 
Over here, this is to root three using my special right triangles. Okay, so I hope you followed. Let me draw that out again real quickly for you guys. Um, I'm just gonna make the right angle here. Okay, so this would be our 30. This would be our 60. Okay, opposite the 90 was our four. We know the hypotenuse is twice the short side, so that's 2, and then the other side is 2 root 3, opposite the 60. Okay. So now my area of my triangle is going to be 1 half times the base, which is 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3, which is 4 root 3, times the height of 2. So my area of my triangle is 4 root 3. So then the area of my sector is going to be, or my area of my segment, I don't know why I said sector, that should be segment, um, is going to be 16 pi divided by 3 minus 4 root 3. And again, you can just plug that all into your calculator or leave it that way. And it's going to give me approximately 9.83. Okay, so again, either of those would be fine. So we learned a lot today. We learned about how to find the area of a circle. We reviewed that. You should have known that. But we learned what a sector is, what a segment was, and how to find those areas. So have a good night, and I will see you in class.